Stacy, right. thank you for joining me today on Press Day for uh, Transformers Earth Spark premiere November 11th. How excited are you? Been waiting for a while when this was announced. Oh my gosh, thank you for being here. Um, I am over the moon. Um, you know, I got into voiceover with the intention of doing animation and everybody gets into voiceover with the intention of doing animation and it's harder to do than you'd think. So <laughs> to book a role like this is, I mean, this is the dream. This is this is the thing that I've been watching since I was a kid in the 80s. And um, I just, I can't wait for people to get their hands on this show. In my previous interview, I told them the exact same thing like, I watched the first two episodes of my kids. I have two young kids and we loved it. My son was really into it as a four-year-old. What are you hoping for when the the old fans and the new fans return to watch this? I hope that everybody can see not only the homage that's paid to the original Transformers series that have come before this, mm -hmm. um, but also the fun that can be had when you add a little spice to it. You know, I think shaking it up in this way, having it be post-war, introducing the Terrans, um, introducing Mandroid, I think there's a lot of really, really fun things that are going to come out of this. And I, I think it's something I hope that, you know, kids, parents, families, anybody can watch mm -hmm. and enjoy. What can you tell us about your character, the Autobot, Elida, that you're voicing? And how did you like fit the perfect voice for it? Uh, Alita one. Um, so she is Optimus Prime's second in command. You know, she's mm. his right hand gal and she, she makes sure that his, his orders are carried out, but she likes to have a little bit of fun. Right. Um, and there's a lot of me in Alita. You know, I am very mm. driven. I'm focused. I get things done. I, I work hard. But if I'm not having fun along the way, what's the point? And so I kind of brought a bit of that to Alita to to make her come alive. Mm. How did you pick, pick like the perfect tone and voice for the character? How, how many takes did it take you? One, man. No. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I, I remember getting the audition and it was under a uh, a code name so that we didn't know okay. it was Transformers. Right. And I just saw this 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 character who was very strong, very like competent, confident. Um, but she, she's kind of like a cat. You know, she likes to toy mm. with her food while she's, you know, playing with it. And uh, mm. I wanted her to to be that and just to have that um, sass. Mm. What did you love the most about this character? I love that uh, she's not afraid to be strong. She's not mm. afraid to be um, a badass female character, but she also likes to have fun. Other than your character now, who's your favorite? Because I know you've seen a few episodes by now. Man, that's like Sophie's choice. Um, I really love the characters of the Malto kids. I think mm. um, Sydney Michaela and Zion Broadnax have done such an incredible job of bringing these two little kids together and watching them discover the Transformers and see the love of the Transformers through their dad's eyes and then get to absorb that and become siblings with Transformers has been such a cool process. That's great. Uh, Sissy, I want to thank you for giving me a few minutes today on Press Day. This was great. I uh, can't wait for you to check it out on November 11th. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.